Hi, welcome to the ride. You know, there's something truly perverted about a person preferring a tax audit over, well, over anything. I think you're going to enjoy this floor. Now, how many people will be playing? Hello, how many people? Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. Are any of you first time riders? Oh, how nice, newbies. We'll be sure to include some extra instructions during the course of your ride. Go ahead, layer one, and type in your name. Yes, thank you. Let's have your name now. Wonderful, thanks. Player three, I await. Poor thing, didn't your parents give you any consonants when you were born? Too bad. Your buzzer, player one, is Q. That's Q, as in Queen of Sheba. Your buzzer, player two, is B, as in Da Bomb. Player 3, to buzz in, press the letter P, as in Popsicle. All right, Master Cookie is waiting for you in the Dungeon of Love. Now straighten your dog collar and get ready to whimper. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Jack is brought to you by s and Cruise Lines. Remember, with s and Cruise Lines, you're leather bound. And now, please welcome your host, Cookie. Welcome to the dungeon. I'm Master Cookie. But if your fantasy is about taxes, you can think of me as an auditor in a rubber suit. Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Here's the part for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm going to tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're going to be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're going to make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flackjack. <laughs> Okay, let's get you saddled up and ready to ride. Player 3 select. Okie doke, let's check out the category. So I have a rubber sheet fetish. Ready, slaves? Master Cookie has a question for you. If you're playing Twister at an S&M party and someone calls out, Left hand red! Which of the following will most likely happen? Someone will scream, Faster! Faster! And all yours, player. In S&M play, certain safe words are used and red, spelled R-E-D, is often used as a request to stop the action. Me? I'd much rather go to the Copperphilia party down the street. I hear they're playing Kerplunk. Player one, please buzz in. I like to call this category. I'll take a foot long with extra fetish. And now the question. If you have a major foot fetish, which of these measurements will give you the most satisfaction? A knot, a nautical mile, a league, or a cubit? Player three, do it. I'll bet it can get expensive covering that much ground with black leather. A league is about three miles long, so you get more feet than any of the other measures of distance. Mmm, feet. Player three, it's all on your show. We're calling this one. I'm not a fetishist, I just look like one. Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number, let's find out. If you're into blouses, shakos, and piping, what turns you on? Animal fur, strapless shoes, uniforms, or nail polish? Player one, hit it! Nice. So what is it about uniforms that supposedly drive people crazy? I mean, does the thought of getting a speeding ticket or being forced to do 100 push-ups really turn people on? Buzz in and choose a value for 
It's dead, it's disgusting, it's roadkill. Alright, let me tell you how this game works. I'm gonna show you various pairs of things that are somehow related. And you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. You gotta buzz in to select the item you think correctly joins the two. There's a thousand bucks in it for you if you're right, but do choose wisely. You're gonna lose a grand every time you're wrong. And we're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Pay attention all the correct answers and you might have a shot at the bonus. You got that? Good, let's motor. Baseball great Daryl and type of blonde hair. What's the common link between these two? Bonus, what do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all? Stop saying in nine and a half weeks! Thank you, my grandmother's cellar! Go athlete name! Four stars! SNF safe words! Safe safe proof! You got it, player two, let's add it up! Now, go wipe that applesauce off your keyboard. Well, for the time being, player one, you're on top. Player two, pick us a question. Here's your category. A flying you-know-what. Okay, play ball. If a skydiver yells, Gerontophilia! As he jumps from a plane, what is he probably thinking about as he plummets towards Earth? Having sex with circus performers, having sex with elderly people, having sex with Native Americans, or having sex with birds? Player one! Uh, well, player two, you got a one in four two, huh? Alright. You, my friend, are on fire. Toronto Filiacs like to have sex with the aged, but I hear it gets old after a while. First rule, player one, be careful who you screw or it'll come back to haunt you. Player two, what's this one gonna be worth? Hit your coming up. Isn't everything like sex? Well, whatever your fetish is, just practice safe sex, okay, folks? Now, take a look at this analogy and then finish it. Condom is to wallet as linen is to latex, glory hole is to male member, prophylactic is to STD, or trousseau is to hope chest. Up to you, player three. Wrong, but, uh, well, how do I become a member of this glory hole? <laughs> player one, player two, all yours, player one. Yeah, that's right, genius. Condoms help prevent wallets. <laughs> Make your move. Take a shot, player two. Just as guys will store condoms in their wallets for a special day, women will store their trousseau or linens and things in a hope chest for their marriage. 
I don't know which is sadder, a spinster with a dusty hope chest or a middle-aged bachelor with a permanent ring in his wallet. Player two, hit me! That ain't chump change. All right, let's see what we got. Yo, Rocco, where's my bra? Hey, you like seeing men dressing in drag? Cause, you know, that's really a man. But you see, he's wearing women's clothing. You with me? Oh, yeah. Where would you expect to see men dressing in dragoon? In the halls of Congress on the Number four, let's say. In Dragoon. Oh, if I could only smack you right now. <laughs> player, player three, make it happen. All opposed? Yay! <laughs> player one, hit it. I see. Love that stuff when I was a kid. And you're wrong. <laughs> You've been very, very bad. Do you remember your safe word? Dragoons are heavily armed, horse-mounted troops. Dear Wong Fu, battle is hard. I think of you every night as I lie awake in my bunker. Yours forever, Julie Newmar. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer. Let's find out. Sandwich Kleptomamapus. What? Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Now then, here's what your real category looks like. Booze. It's what keeps you going. Here's how this works. You're gonna get a phrase that sounds like gibberish. Your job is to hit your buzzer and type in what it rhymes with. Now bear in mind, the more time you take, the less cash you get. Alright then, tell me what common phrase this rhymes with. If D stashes fifth, the vet do lull. And never mind the comma. First clue, it's a mild chastisement. Billy, don't be a dumbass. It's a mild chastisement in which you threaten to lash someone. Take it away, player three, type in your... Oh, you're so bad. Let me guess, you saw someone type that in when they were playing one of the other volumes or something, and now you want to see what I'll say now. Well, uh, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm, I'm just going to take away some cash. Now, come to think of it, I, I bet you're one of those people who does this constantly. I, I know people like you. You're, you're sitting there in the same underwear you've been wearing for the past five days, and all day long you just play the game until you get to a gibberish question. You tell me to screw myself, and then you quit out and do it again. God, your life is really empty. And yet, I, I feel no pity for you whatsoever. All right, there you have it. Now, uh, let's get back to the game. Player one, you up for some fun? Last clue. You threaten to use moist pasta. Come on, use your noodle. Silly, you should have known this. Looks like you get ifty stashes fit the vet duo. Ow! Hey, that linguine feels way undercooked. Player three wants this one. Okay, give it up for my fat foreigner fetish. Let's get going. If you're into overweight Polish men, which of these would be a turn on? This guy? This guy? This guy? Or this guy? Player two! Alright, player one, time to. So you pick three, huh? Okay. Now that's an oversized Serbian. Say hello to your former score. Take a shot, player. Mmm, I Okay, player two, what's... Oh, that was sucky. I'm sorry about that. Here's your category. If the shoe fits, smell it. Here's the question. If you've got a shoe fetish, with what kind of comic strip character are you obsessed? A bird, a dog, a cat, or a mouse? Up to you, player three. Eek! A mouse! <laughs> All yours, player. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. 
Oh my, the feathers. <laughs> Player one, it's up to you. Second question. Oh. Oh. Here's your category. Whip me, beat me, spread me on toast. Player three, time to seize the day. That's a lot of money. If you're into beating eggs, what can... Player three, do it. Time's up. Player one, player two, go... Player one, hit it. What a pity. Balls in your court. Player two, it's yours. So I'm just wondering, who came first, you or the egg? Ass pick is a gelatin made from animal broth. And if you need to do an ass pick, just warn me first so I can avert my eyes. Alright, player two, buzz in, give us a... The category is... It's a friendly smile on an open sore. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. Lucky you! You've won a free cruise on S&M Cruise Lines! If one of the planned activities is water sports, what will you be doing in between free- Take a shot, please! S&M humiliation games involving such bodily functions as urination are called water sports. So I hear. I hope Frank's wife's on the cruise so I can piss on her head. Player two, what's this one gonna be worth? Get your buzzer and tell us. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The object of my affection. Remember, the match has to follow the clue. Good luck. Two, you should be ashamed of yourself beating up on two vegetables like that. Hey, what's the matter, Jimbo? Uh, I couldn't afford to keep my cell phone. Now driving without being on the phone feels... Weird. <laughs> have to pay attention to the road, huh? Yeah. Try this. What's in the bag? It's a cell phone substitute. Put it on. <laughs> I can't see anything with these blinders on. No. Yeah. I see. It also comes with a five-year-old child. How come horses don't have toes? Why do we pee? Who's that? Where are we going? Me, me, Wow, me. it feels just are like using my cell yeah. phone. Oh, not yet. Do you have a hands-free yeah. phone? No. Oh, then we have the head-to-shoulder strap. <laughs> Wow! How can your head is sideways? With my head fixed to my shoulder, an incessant noise in my ear, and my eyes distracted from the reality around me, I feel just like I'm using my car phone, but I'm not racking up any air time. Hey, we better get to work, buddy. You're right. Speed up. You can't see them, but there's some people riding on bikes just up ahead. <laughs> then let's go. The cell phone substitute, because you don't need technology to be a menace to society. What?
What's Menna's stew sobriety mean? Everyone, we have a guest today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, hello, my name's, uh, Hugh Rection. Mm, Mr. Rection, this is a safe environment. Tell us your full name. Fine, it's Hugh G. Rection, all right? But you know, I never use the G. Hi, Hugh G. Rection! Oh, hi! Hello, my name is Mike Hunt, and I'm one of thousands of people who've suffered through life with an unfortunate name. But finally, there's hope, thanks to Merkin Counseling Centers. When I first came to Merkin, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's always scary when I tell people my name is Ivana Tinkle, but I had no idea I'd be in a group with a Jack Mia or a Buster Cherry um, my, or a My Anna name is Lins. Harry Balsack. I'm Eileen Dover. I'm Eileen's husband, Ben Dover. Hugh Jazz. Hello, my name is Jacques Strap. Anita Get Laid. We're all equal. All of us are equal. Every one of us. IP Daily. I'm a hog. Howard M. Mellons. Jenny Talia. I'm Seymour Butts. Tara Hamps.